What do, what do you have to tell us? Yeah, I have no much word to say. <laughs> we have time. <laughs> uh, what happened and uh, the way I see when uh, Pastor Yuk told me about the motorcycle, I thought it was, I was looking as a dream. I haven't touched myself. <laughs> see this going to happen. Then suddenly he was keeping on telling me, get the quotation, get the quotation. Then I said, Yo, this it will make me. Actually, I had, I did not believe on what was saying, but I end up believing uh, afterwards because he was keeping on saying the same thing. So if he was changing, I should doubt. But he was keeping on saying the same thing. Then I started to believe in, in his words. Then I said, this is from God. So that is why there comes the day that they said, here's the man going by the motorcycle. So I had to travel all with that man from South Africa, from South Africa, yes, up to Mozambique. And when I, I drive, I say, Lord, Keep this money, it's not mine, it's yours. As I was driving from South Africa up to my home, so I have seen the hand of the Lord keeping me on the road, away from the churches and the people that is live with someone's money or whatever. So we end up buying the motorcycle. The first thing for that, I, I just want to say thank you for all effort that you have done. Most special for, for us in Mozambique and the two pastors that are going to, they, are, they have received uh, their transportation to reach the place where it's, it's not easy for them to reach. Um, I wish it can be, they can use it as I've used my, because it's almost four years now. Uh, right there. And, uh, I have reached several places that I could not reach it as well. Having the place where he's, he's talking about Mabalan, it's about 150 kilometers away from here. Um, I have I've been there at the prison with that motorcycle. So it helped me a lot. So I wish it can do the same with them. So, well, it's, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I don't, I don't have much more to say because I'm so excited. But anyway, I have to share with you before I've been a, a Christian. It's that, Pastor. <laughs> I have a, a long story for me to become a Christian. It was not... A, like uh, I, uh, 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 I've grown in the church, it's a, it's, a, it's a process for me, for Jesus to pick up me from the dirt area and cleanse me and put me where I am. So I used to say to the people, the way I am is because of Christ. So my parents could not make me the way I am. My friends could not make me the way I am. But whoever could not make me the way I am, it's all by Christ. So uh, for me to become a Christian, I had to, to, to listen to my friends. I was a drunker, using to drink mm. beer, so and uh, one of my uncle, I think you will meet him, he's coming, he's my senior pastor, he's coming to meet you, and uh, he, he, he found me drunk and said, Andre, he was already a pastor, he said, Andre, what is it, how are you, how are you, then I said, ah, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> then uh, he was crying in his heart, and uh, he said to me, this must come to pass. Then suddenly, 2000, he went to, to my homeland where I'm born. Then, at the same date, he went there. I decided to follow my friends. 
they they have told me that the beer in South Africa it was very cheap. <laughs> so I had to go with them because in Mozambique it was quite expensive than South Africa. So I had to go with them to all along to South Africa. And we were not driving. We had to walk almost 400 kilometers. And uh, we did not use having the border. We just jumped the first to the site of South Africa. So the Lord, you know, if God had a, have a plan with you, he has a plan, he cannot change. And uh, when my uncle see me, he was crying and say, I would love this young man to be saved. So, and uh, he, for sure, I know he was praying for me. And there's many people were praying for me as well, because I was a sinner. So suddenly, as I crossed the border, ah, I crossed the, I jumped the fence to South Africa. Um, we saw the big elephant. Then the people were w going with me. They ran away. They could run faster than me because I cannot walk properly. I, yeah, I don't know how can I explain, but I'm not walking properly. Anyway. So I, I did not run. I just sided myself under the bush. Then that elephant did not pass where I am. I don't know what happened to that elephant. Then I end up walking in the bush alone. I had no food, uh, it looked like I was fasting. I had a, a, a bottle of water on my side walking. Then I did not even walk uh, uh, one kilometer, then I slipped in the bush alone. The, the next day I wake up and walk. Then suddenly I look myself on, on the tire road. Then I said, yes, I'm in South Africa already. <laughs> so I was happy, I was going to drink again the beer. Mm. So there came a, a man, it's a white man uh, from South Africa. I don't know who was the him. I don't know if he was a Christian, but the way he did, I think he was a Christian because he picked up me and he left me at the place where there is people. Oh. And then he went to South Africa and get a... Uh, uh, take suit for me and the jacket um, and he, he bought me a loaf of bread and something like a, how the verse and uh, he gave me fifth land oh. when he wow. came then I said who is this man then he said bye bye he went I never seen him again I don't know who was that man but uh, it was a it was a blessing from God yeah. then from there uh, they take me back home. I met my uncle. My uncle said, I went to your, to your home to look for you. You are, you are back. That, that's why God made you to come back to Mozambique. So I would love to, I would, I would like to take you to the Bible school. If you want to go to South Africa, I can make you a passport. Then you will go to South Africa. If you want to go to the Bible school, I will give you 20 minutes. Then he gave me, I said, no, I want to go to the Bible school. I end up deciding, I didn't know what's going to happen there. I was just saying, I want to go to the Bible school. So, but what I, I, I have realized, for sure, is that God had a plan with me. So his plan, I didn't know that he had a plan with me. That is why I was drinking and doing things that are not good. But for now, I have realized uh, that God had a plan with me and I have to fulfill in his, in his So I'm so thankful for, for, for meeting you people. Um, lovely people from far as he said my brother it's because of the blood of Jesus yeah. it's the one that make unity us and take people from the other side and the people from the other side and make us as one there is no difference I have seen uh, because of the blood of Jesus Amen. So, Thank you so much you. for your prayers and uh, as you are praying for Mozambique. Also, thank you for Pastor Yogo. Uh, he's the one who is working alongside of, of us and uh, for all effort that he is doing for Mozambique. Uh, bringing teams, uh, bringing people, and coming to me and asking me, what is your vision? Then I share with him. And, uh, 
He makes a way. How can he? He helped me to make that vision to to implement it or what to do something on that vision. So I'm so thankful to him as well for that. May the Lord bless you all. Thank you.